Right, this is to explain the solution to the traffic light challenge that one of the lessons poses to the class. There are a number of different solutions to this, and this is just uh, two or three different ways of doing it. Um, this is what you should get. You will have played a video to the children, they will have worked out the sequence, and this is what they should be emulating. Now, I'm going to show you the solution that I think is best, and then some other solutions the children could come up with and I'll explain why you need to sort of divert them away from one type and try and shift them towards what the other uh, let's click stop and let's close this down so here is the solution that I think is a fairly good one the reason why is because it uses more programming ideas than other solutions can so it's using broadcasting to sort of set different parts of the scripts and codes off it's also using repeat repeat loops as well. So at the minute, when you click green flag, both of these activate. It switches the costume to green. Now we've got costumes for all on, green on, orange on, and red on. Okay, so you've got all of those different costumes. Um, so what's going to happen is uh, it's going to switch the costume to on, so the green light will come on. Then it'll wait two seconds, and then it's going to run this. And the first thing it does is it broadcasts this. So this will this line tells you to go go over here and run this, and basically this allows the light to flash. It switches it on, then off, then on, then off, then on, then off, and it just repeats it five times. But it also allows you to change it quite easily. Then once it's done that, it comes back here and wait. So once this is finished, it comes back to here. Then it says switch the red light on. So we're going red, orange, red, green, even amber, red. Then it waits a few seconds, lets people cross. Then it switches back to orange, and then switches back to green. And then it will repeat this process all the time. Now, another way of doing this that will give the solution, and children will come up with this, is this. Now, where this differs is it's just, it's really just an animation, because all you're doing, telling it to do, is to switch between the costumes. If you remember some of the other work we've done with the fish tank animation, at, it, fish tank animations and fish tank games to make the fish move is just switching between costumes and that's all this does it just tells it to start green then switch to orange switch it off switch to orange switch it off and then it just tells you to do it together and it's just timed now this is using a forever loop but you can see there's a big difference between the amount of thought that's gone on between this solution here and this solution here so you need to get them to try and really think about what's happening because you don't need all of it to repeat um, you only really want this bit to repeat for flashing. It just gets it gets get them thinking beyond animating because um, this is animation. I wouldn't describe it really as programming. Where this is close to programming, you're using more. You're thinking about the process, the steps that the lights actually have to go through. There is another solution beyond this as well, which is this one here. Uh, this has a switch in it as well. This is an extension, so if you're actually going to get them to start the traffic light sequence with a button, this is the way it would work. So you push green. It's going to stay green forever until I push this button. Um, but this is what it does. And when I receive cross, so the actual button has... You click this bright broadcast cross, cross. So if I click it, and you'll, what happens, you click on it, which you've just done. And so now it waits two seconds, switches to orange, waits two seconds, switches to red, flashes and then comes back to green. So this again is even simpler than the previous example, but again you're th it's getting you to think about how all of the different parts of this simulation, because that's what we're doing here, we're simulating the traffic light, comes together. Hopefully that's helpful and it will give you some things to think about when you're doing this in the lesson.